What are the different types of insulin? How quick and long will an insulin's effects last? This is part one of the insulin titration series. These are the things to know when a person is using insulin. First is the generic name. There are many types of insulin with different generic names. They may be contained in a vial or a pen. Insulin can be divided into two types according to its origin. First is the human insulin and next is the analog insulin. For human insulins, the generic names are regular insulin, NPH or isophane, and biphasic human insulin. For the analog insulins, you have the following generic names, Lulaisin, Lispro, Aspart, Degludec, Detamir, Glargin, Biphasic Insulin, Lispro, or Aspart. Aside from the generic name, one also has to know the onset and duration of the insulin's effects. These are for the human insulins. For human regular insulin, the onset of the effect would be 30 minutes to an hour. The peak effect would be in 2 to 4 hours. The duration of the effect would be from 6 to 8 hours. Examples of human regular insulins are Eumulin R, Insuget R, Silene R. These are supposed to be injected 30 minutes before a meal. For the NPH insulin or the isophane, the onset of the effect would be in 1 to 2 hours. The peak effect would be 6 to 8 hours. The duration of effect would be more than 12 hours. Examples of NPH insulin and isophane insulin are Eumulin N, Insugit N, Silin N. These are supposed to be injected 30 minutes before meals as well. It is good to understand the timing of the effect of insulin to know the best time to inject it. There are two types of insulin analogs, the rapid and the long-acting insulin analogs. The onset of effect for rapid-acting insulin analogs is at 5 to 15 minutes, peak effect at 1 to 2 hours, and duration of effect at 4 to 6 hours. Examples are insulin glulysine or apidra, insulin lispro or eumalog, and insulin aspart or nova rapid. These are all injected 5 to 15 minutes before meals. For the long-acting insulin analogs, the onset of effect is at one and a half to two hours. These are peakless. For insulin deglodec or treceba, the duration of effect is at 24 to 42 hours. For insulin detemir or levemir, it is at 12 to 24 hours. For insulin glargin U100 or Lantus and Proverta, it is at 24 hours. And lastly, for insulin glargin U300 or Tugeo, it is at 36 hours. All long-acting insulins may be injected before or after eating. Again, it is important to understand when these insulins take effect to know the best time to inject them. These are the pre-mixed insulins. The biphasic human insulin, biphasic insulin analogs, and insulin deglodec with aspart. The biphasic human insulins contain a mixture of 70% isophane insulin and 30% regular insulin. The onset of action is at 30 minutes, peak effect at 2 to 4 hours, duration of effect at 12 to 16 hours. Examples are Eumulin 7030, Mixtard 30, Insuget 7030, and Silin M30. These are injected 30 minutes before meals.
Biphasic insulin analogs contain different proportions of a longer-acting basal and a rapid-acting component. The onset of effect is at 5 to 15 minutes. The peak effect is at 1 to 2 hours and the duration of effect is at 1 to 18 hours. Examples are biphasic insulin Lispro 7525 or Humalog Mix 25, biphasic insulin Lispro 5050 or Humalog Mix 50, and biphasic insulin Aspart 7030 or Novomix 30. These are injected 5 to 15 minutes before meals. Insulin Deglodec and Aspart or Rhizodec is a mixture of a long-acting and a rapid-acting insulin. Similar to other biphasic insulins, the onset of effect is at 5 to 15 minutes and the peak effect is at 1 to 2 hours. Because of the Deglodec component, its duration of effect is at 24 to 42 hours. However, because of the aspart component, this is injected 5 to 15 minutes before meals. One may keep insulins in use at room temperatures less than 30 degrees Celsius for 4 weeks. Insulins that have not been used yet should be stored at the horizontal position at temperatures between 2 to 8 degrees Celsius inside a refrigerator. Avoid getting the insulin frozen or exposed to excess heat and direct sunlight. Insulin needles and syringes must be changed after each injection. These are supposed to be disposed in a separate container made of hard plastic. It is important to understand the types and timing of the effects of your insulin so as to maintain a good level of blood sugar and avoid complications like hypoglycemia. This is a message from the Philippine Society of Endocrinology, Diabetes and Metabolism, PSEDM Diabetes Advocacy and Study Council.